Yeah, people, how you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good and uh, all sitting at home and feeling nice and <laughs> tight, you know, with this Corona Wahala. Anyway, I usually don't do this, but uh, I had to uh, like come up with something, you know, because uh, it's kind of troubling me, you know. You know, I just want to tell you guys why uh, Christians are not really united, you know. We have like a thousand and one churches in, Ni in Nigeria, you know, and what that spells is, uh, is division. You know, the churches are divided, people are divided, divide the people, the, the men of God are divided, they fight amongst each other and so does the people. You know, I just want to give you guys one reason why all this mess is going on in Nigeria and nothing good positive is coming out of it. You know, um, our forefathers, you know, um, more of spiritual people, you know, so they were kind of connected with their God in a spiritual way. They were not religious. You know, back then there were no churches and all this kind of stuff. Of course, we did have, we, we had high priests, priests and all those kind of people and uh, soothsayers, DBRs and all that, you know. So whenever they consulted these guys, you know, they did believe in God as well, you know. They believe, that's part of the small gods that they had, you know, God of the tree, God of the river and all those things. They, they, they did believe in the mighty God, the, the creator of the heavens and the earth. You know, so it was nothing new to them. Not until the Europeans came and they started talking about God, God, and they were saying, that, okay, our way of worshiping God was, was not the right way and all this kind of shit. And we believed them. You know, our people were, were, they were spiritual people. They were connected with their God. They worshiped God. They were good people. We were not, we, we were not evil people as depicted by the, by the Europeans. You know? So now they came with this religious stuff and everything and today we are divided just like politicians are divided africa is divided so is religion dividing africans why is it so well because of the doctrines you know we have a thousand and one doctrines we believe in different kind of shit. this one believes in purgatory this one believes in virgin mary don't believe in hell this one believes in heaven and all this kind of shit. rapture and all this kind of shit. so it divides us why is the Catholic Church divided from the, Presbyt the Presbyterian Church? It's all because of this kind of stuff, you know? Some believe in, um, um, how do they call it, um, mm, celibacy, you know? Like we have the priests, they, they, they are being told not to get married. But the Methodists and the Protestants, they don't believe in all that. So all those things was, was there to divide Africans, to divide us, instead of bringing us together, binding us together. You know, so what I'm stressing is love, love and love. You know, I remember when Jesus Christ was being asked, like, hey, man, what are the greatest commandments? You know, he said, love your God. And what else? He said, love your neighbor. So it's all about love. Love should be our doctrine. Love should be our religion. Love should be everything to us, you know. Love should be the primary focus. Our primary focus. Love should be what de defines us. It's not the church that you're going to or the... You know the religious edifice that you're that you're sitting in and praising and worshiping God. God doesn't come to churches. You know it's more of a personal thing. It's a personal relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, so as I was saying, let love bound. Let love reign. Let love be supreme over religion, over the uh, what denomination you're attending, over what church you're going to. You know, let humanity be our primary focus, our primary um, point of action. You know, and let's forget about these churches, especially at these dying, daring times. You know, with the virus all around the corner. So that's just what, that's what I got to say. Yeah, so people, as I was saying, it's not about how good you are or how religious you are and all that. It's about, you know, how much love you have for your neighbor. You know and how much fear and love you have for your god so it's more about a personal thing it's not a uh, you know something about the church that you're going to and all those kind of stuff so let our focus be more on humanity 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 you know i expected to see so-called men of god you know coming together you know having a meeting especially at this um, you know difficult time with the corona the coronavirus the pandemic taking over. I expected to see them sit together, discuss how they can help the widows, how they can be there for the fatherless, 
boys and all those kind of things and how they can develop work on the street and you know do something good for the street you know because so far <clears throat> what i'm seeing is that the government has failed so i expected to see the religious leaders come together and have a plan come up with some kind of initiative of what they could do to help the people the masses there's so much hunger in, in the land you know rather than continuing their flamboyant way of living and you know doing those kind of stuff you know that only profits them and the family you know they would have focused more on the community you know that is why they were they are there you know representing god men of god you know rather than um, trying to like keep their disciples and focus more on uh, you know and, and mine before yours and all this kind of stuff you know? so if we say we are christians then we have to learn to work together for the betterment of the society of the community as a whole even if the government fails so that's my point that's the point i'm trying to make i hope uh, it's plain it's clear to see Thank you, stay blessed. Let me go out and do some shopping now.